Yekpen calculations. This type of MCQs came in every entry test of DAO, SMC, KMDC, NAD, NUMS, UHS and others. In this type of MCQ you have to find out the limiting reactant or the excess reactant in the given balanced chemical equation. So these type of reactants, these type of equations you should always remember that first you have to balance the chemical equation for the given reaction that is given in the equation. For the given reaction first you have to observe that the equation is balanced or not. For the given reaction say sucrose, sucrose has a formula of C12H22O11. Sucrose is oxidized and the products are carbon dioxide and water. So you should remember always in your mind that when any substance is oxidized, when any substance is oxidized, carbon dioxide and water is always produced. So the, in, for, in a given reaction, sucrose is oxi oxidized and carbon dioxide and water are produced. So there are 20 grams of sucrose and 20 grams of oxygen. You have to find out the limiting region. I always say to my DMC, SNC, KMDC students that you should consider, you should observe that when there are more than one masses of the reactants means when there are more than one masses of different reactants so you should consider that this type of numerical is a type of limiting and excess reactant so you are observing that 20 gram of sucrose and 20 gram of oxygen both means more than two reactant masses are given so this is a type of limiting reactant or excess reactant MCQ so I am telling you the trick I am telling you the trick to solve it in less than 30 seconds the trick is don't go on lengthy calculations just follow these two steps J just follow these two steps to find out the limiting reactant and the excess react so number one step is you have to calculate the number of moles of both of the reactants so in first step you have to find out the number of moles that is n of oxygen so you know that the mass of oxygen is 20 gram and the molecular mass of oxygen is 32 that means oxygen is 16, 16, 16 into 2 oxygen gas that becomes 32 so 20 upon 32 it becomes 0.625 moles but I always say to my students that you should remember some decimal values you should remember some decimal values so uh, number of moles of oxygen becomes 20 upon 32 20 means molecular mass of oxygen and 32 is the molecular mass of oxygen so it becomes 0.625 moles similar technique would be applied to sucrose Sucrose has a uh, mass of 20 and a molecular mass is 342 when you calculate it. So it becomes 0 0.0524 moles. So after calculating the number of moles of sucrose and oxygen, you should move towards the step number 2. Step number 2 says that and then divide the number of moles by the coefficient of the respective reactant in the balanced chemical equation. In order to follow the step number 2, you should consider that the equation is balanced. So after finding out the number of moles in step two, step one, you should you should move move toward the step number two. In step number two, you should divide you should divide the number of moles by their respective coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. So when you divide 0.625 moles with 12, that is the coefficient of oxygen, you should get 0 0.0520, where 12 is the coefficient of oxygen in the balanced chemical equation. So similar technique can be applied to the sucrose. Sucrose has a number of moles of 0 0.0524. When you divide by 1, it would remain same, that is 0 0.0524, where 1 is the coefficient of 1 is the coefficient of sucrose in the balanced chemical equation. So as you are observing that, which value is lesser? You are observing that the 0 0.0520 value is lesser as compared to the value of 0 0.0524. So oxygen will be the limiting reactant. So oxygen will be the limiting reactant. As oxygen contain the lesser value that is 0 0.0520 so oxygen would be the limiting reactant. So in this type of numericals or the MCQs you should follow these two steps. In respect to, in respect to following the lengthy step in which you have to compare the number of moles then finding out the number of moles then multiplying the number of moles then move towards four steps. So these are the efficient techniques to la solve less than 30 seconds to following these two steps. So as oxygen containing the last number of value that is 0 0.0520 so it means oxygen is less so it is a limiting reactant. So stay watching educationisthub.com